We're going to take a quick look here at how to use the sound recorder in Windows 7 to record a sound file. This could be, for example, um, you recording some comments about a student's assignment. You can use um, a digital voice recorder to record audio and create sound files, but there is this facility in Windows 7 on your PC. So to find the sound recorder, all you need to do is go down to the Start menu, which is in the bottom left-hand corner, and just click the Start button, and you'll see here the sound recorder. If you don't see that, in this box here, Search Programs and Files, if you just search for the sound recorder, you should find it that way. But if I just click on Sound Recorder, you'll see the sound recorder box pop up. You can click on Start Recording, and as long as you've got some headphones and a microphone plugged into your computer, you can then click the Start Recording and you can record your comments and make your sound file. This will save your comments, um, your sound file, as a WAV um, format and you can then put your comment into Word and I'll show you how to do that now. So if I just stick, click start, start Recording, this is obviously the timer is going up, this is recording me of creating this sound file. If I then stop recording, I can if I want to uh, resume recording. But let's just call this test sound. It's going to save it as a Windows Media Audio file, which is a WAV file. I'm just going to save this one on my desktop. Let's just save that there. And then I can shut my sound recorder down. Okay, I'm now going to open Word. Okay. And you may or may not be familiar with the Review tab in Word where you can add comments. So if you've got some text over here on the left, a student's um, assignment in Word, for example, you can pop comments over here. I can put a new comment in, I can add comments, but you can also, I just add a new comment, you can also add your sound file uh, as a comment as well. And you do this by going to the insert menu, just up here, the insert tab, and you'll see object here. So if I now say object, the object button comes up. So I don't want to create one because I've already created one. But what I can do is click on create from file and find my sound file. So let's just browse and I saved my sound file on the desktop. So let's just click on desktop and we'll see our test sound or our test sound file here. So let's select that one and click insert. So we can link to the file, we can display in our Word document as an icon. This one here. So you can just have a little read about this. This tells you what these do. If I just click OK and you'll see there that your sound file appears in your Word document. So if I were to click on that and just say open, you'll see there that our might be able to hear that that our sound file appears there. So a student can listen to your audio feedback here. So that's just very quickly how to use the Windows Sound Recorder in Windows 7 to create an audio or a sound file and then insert it as an object into Word 2010.